Hello folks and welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be revisiting a subject that I've previously covered, uh, namely the power output on the Bofang UV17 Pro GPS. Now in the previous video I compared it to the Bofang UV18 Pro Max. Uh, I did a power test uh, on both of those radios and it transpired that on the UV17 Pro GPS there was a fatal flaw on the 1.25 meter band in that the UV17 Pro GPS wasn't outputting any power on the 1.25 meter band. Now since then Bofang have uh, updated the firmware on the UV17 Pro GPS to another version and have uh, subsequently they have fixed that issue. So the uh, Bofang UV17 Pro GPS now does uh, operate on the 1.25 uh, meter band uh, and uh, Today I'm just going to demonstrate that in uh, a short video here using my uh, Surecom SW33 power meter uh, into uh, a 50 ohm 25 watt dummy load. So without further ado we'll get into the video and I'll demonstrate to you the issue that we had in the older firmware version of the UV17 Pro GPS on 1.25 meters. Now here we have an orange radio and this particular radio is running an old firmware version uh, 1.27 and if we go into the radio uh, into the menu and we go to uh, radio info and we look on there we will see that the radio is running firmware version we can see it here I'll just point out the antenna. Verm, firmware version 1.27 on this particular radio. Now, this was a firmware version that had an issue with the GPS, I beg your pardon, with the uh, 1.25 meter band in that it wasn't outputting any meaningful power to that uh, band. So to demonstrate that uh, we will now uh, uh, transmit into the dummy load on 1.25 meters using the old firmware version 1.27. So we'll uh, put in uh, our frequency here which uh, will be 220. Two, two, zero, zero. Which is the start of the 1.25 meter band. Uh, we have our uh, meter set up on the radio to test the power output. Now I'm now going to press the push to talk button on the side of the 17 Pro GPS running firmware version 1.27 on uh, the 1.25 meter band. So if I press the push to talk button I'm pressing it. Absolutely nothing. We are getting no output at all on the 1.25 meter band. Uh, just to prove that this isn't a, a defect of radio, we'll now uh, put in uh, the 2 meter uh, band and do a power test on that. One, four, five, five, zero, zero. 2 meter calling channel for the UK on 2 meters and we'll now do a power test on the 2 meter band on the UV17 Pro GPS running old firmware version 1.27 and there you see that it is now outputting 5.1 watts on the, one, on the 2 meter uh, ham band so the radio is not defective, it's certainly uh, outputting uh, a healthy uh, 5.1 watts on 2 meters, but it is 
outputting absolutely nothing on uh, the 1.25 meter band. So that was an issue with uh, the Bovang UV17 Pro uh, GPS running the old firmware version 1.27. Now I'm not quite sure whether they addressed that issue in firmware version 1.28. Uh, I don't have a 1.28 firmware version radio to test that on. But what I do know is that they certainly did address the issue in firmware version 1.03. Which despite the name is actually a newer firmware version than 1.27 and 1.28. <coughs> Excuse me. So if we transfer our power meter onto this green radio, which is running the newer firmware version 1.03, and demonstrate that. Frequency mode. We'll go into our menu, we'll come up to radio info, and we'll check there. And as we can see here, this particular radio is running firmware version I hope we can see it there on the screen. Uh, version 1.03. Let's see, maybe get a bit more light in there just to uh, brighten up the image a bit. I hope you can see that. We're running version 1.03 on uh, this the green radio, which is an updated version of the firmware from 1.27 and 1.28, it then went to 1.03. Now as of this date and time, there's been a further firmware update to 1.07. And on that uh, subject, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that a bit later, but uh, firstly, before we do that, I'm going to test this radio on two meters and on 1.25 meters. Uh, and see if the Bofang actually have resolved that issue on the 1.25 meter band of the radio not uh, outputting on 1.25 meters. So we'll connect up our Surecom meter once again. Again, it's uh, transmitting into a 50 ohm 25 watt dummy load. There we go. We'll turn our meter on. Set it to power output. Turn on our radio. Frequency mode. Now just to prove that uh, the radio is uh, TX and OK, uh, we'll first do a test on two meters. One, four, five, five, zero, zero. And we'll press our push to talk button on the side and see what we get on two meters. Six point one watts on uh, two meters, so that's absolutely fine on the two meter band. But what we're really interested in here is the one point two five meter band to see if Bofang have addressed the power output issue on the later firmware versions. So we'll change our frequency from uh, 2 meters to 1.25 meters. We'll put in 220. 2, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. Start of the 2 meter uh, handband. We'll now press our push to talk button and we will see what output we get on 1.25 meters with the updated firmware version 1.03 and there we have it folks 6.4 watts on 1.25 meters so very healthy improvement there so Bofang actually have resolved that issue of the UV17 Pro GPS not uh, outputting on 1.25 meters. It now transmits absolutely fine on the 1.25 meter band. So now that we've uh, addressed that issue we can talk a bit more about uh, firmwares and firmware versions. Now I actually belong to a Facebook group uh, which is dedicated to the Bofang UV17 Pro GPS and uh, I would recommend for anybody who's interested in that particular radio that they join that uh, 
particular Facebook group because there's a lot of in interesting information uh, on the UV17 Pro GPS. It's, it's dedicated uh, to just that one model of radio with the UV17 Pro GPS. So if you look it up on Facebook, you can uh, sign up and join that forum. Very interesting, a lot of uh, expert knowledge on there. What we have been noticing uh, of late is uh, that since version 1.03 firmware was released, which solved the issue of the radio not transmitting on 1.25 meters, there has subsequently been another firmware update to firmware version 1.07. And on that firmware version, there seems to be an issue with uh, the zones uh, in uh, the 1.07 firmware version, in that when the radio is powered on, the radio starts to create a new zone every time you power the radio on in firmware version 1.07. So one of the subscribers to the channel uh, wrote to uh, the person they, they, they bought the radio from and they actually sent them out uh, a firmware upgrade which is a very rare thing for Bofang analog radios, as anyone who knows they don't normally release firmware upgrades, but this particular retailer did send uh, the person who bought the radio with firmware version 1.07 and the zone issue, they sent them a firmware update to a firmware version 1.11. Uh, and he successfully installed that on his radio and uh, it solved the zone problem. So, just a note of caution there. The, the 1.25 uh, metre uh, transmit problem seems to have been solved from uh, firmware version 1.03 onwards, but we now seem to have an issue with the 1.07 firmware with, it's nothing to do with the transmit power on uh, 1.25 meters, that's fine. The issue is with the zones in uh, 1.07. Uh, and as I said, the retailer sent this individual who's having an issue with 1.07, they sent him a firmware upgrade to 1.11. Whether that will be the new firmware that will be installed on uh, the UV17 Pro GPS from now on, I'm not sure. But uh, it's uh, just uh, an interesting note of caution there that there's, there seems to be an issue with uh, version 1.07 firmware at the minute. Uh, and uh, it may well be that any future releases of this uh, UV17 Pro GPS will come with version 1.11 firmware. I'm not sure on that, that remains to be seen uh, whether they will continue to ship the radio with uh, version 1.07 or not. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But I just thought I would make you aware of it. But the main point of this video today was to demonstrate to you that uh, the Bofang UV17 Pro GPS no longer has uh, an issue with transmitting on the 1.25 meter band. That issue has been solved as we demonstrated with our power meter there. Uh, 220, the power output is absolutely fine on, on 1.25 meters. So that issue has been solved. I just thought I would do a, a, quick radio, a quick video for anybody who is concerned about the 1.25 meter band. It's not an issue here in the UK because we don't actually use that band in the UK. But for anyone who's in the USA and is concerned about the Bofang UV17 Pro GPS having an issue uh, transmitting on 1.25 meters, that issue has been resolved. The radio now transmits absolutely fine on the 1.25 meter band. So, sorry if I digressed a bit there about the uh, firmware 
uh, and the latest issues with uh, the latest firmware but I thought I would mention it in the video as I say if you want to check out more on that go to the uh, Bofang UE17 Pro GPS Facebook group uh, have a look on there and uh, there's a fair bit of discussion going on about that at the minute but anyway uh, in the meantime thanks very much for uh, watching the video if you liked it uh, give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe feel free to subscribe to the channel but uh, that's all for now folks uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye for now